Eugene Scott. He is a political reporter with The Washington Post, and he joins us from Washington. Thank you so much for joining us, Eugene. Thanks for having me. All right, so 2019 was a very dramatic year for U.S. President Donald Trump, ending with his impeachment, but he still managed to raise $46 million for his campaign. So, Eugene, explain this to me. How do you think this all happened? Well, we know from polling that the people who like Trump really like Trump, and they very much invested in his campaign, including financially. So it's not that surprising that he's having great fundraising numbers, because that's been the case uh, since he launched his re-election campaign. Uh, but we also know that, uh, in terms of approval, popularity is not on the president's side. And so what we'll see in 2020 is having to answer the question, if money uh, is what matters most in these races. We know in 2016 that was it's not the case. And Trump very much uh, prided himself on being able to beat his general election opponent, despite not having as much money as her. And so we'll see if he's in a different position uh, in 2020 than he was previously. Well, I guess the big question going into this election year is, how is this impeachment process going to impact Trump's reelection campaign? Well, that's to be determined. There's still questions about what House Speaker Nancy Pelosi will do in terms of uh, presenting the impeachment uh, papers and findings to uh, the U.S. Senate. Right now, uh, it's not clear when she will do it, and some might say even if she will do it. Uh, but that certainly will determine uh, the re-election, re uh, you know, stakes for the president uh, after that is something um, that we move forward in. Well, let's shift gears. Bernie Sanders is telling supporters that he has more donors than Trump. But the big question is, can he beat Trump in this 2020 election? Well, in some uh, polls, uh, especially in some of these purple states, he actually is not beating the president. Um, and that is really important, because despite Sanders' popularity with uh, many within the Democratic base, the reality is that most voters aren't in the Democratic base. Only about 30 uh, percent of Americans are Democrats, and even a f smaller number of that are progressive enough Democrats to get behind Bernie Sanders' uh, message. And so uh, despite him being able to attract small dollars from lots of people and to hear him telling more people than the president uh, currently, uh, whether that will end up leading to a victory for him, uh, it's not yet clear. All right, finally, well, it's the beginning of a new year, 2020, a campaign year. Do you have any predictions about how everything's going to turn out this year in the election, the U.S. election? It'll be eventful. Uh, it's about <laughs> as much as I can say. Um, and uh, it'll attract significant interest. We're seeing polling saying that people who perhaps were not as engaged in 2016 and, and not um, eager to vote are actually more eager now. And that's uh, important because uh, there was some thought that people would be uh, desensitized or turned off by all of the rhetoric and the chaos and the drama. But I think people uh, have very strong opinions about how they feel about this current president. And that will shape how involved they are uh, in the 2020 election. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Thank you so much, Eugene Scott, political reporter for The Washington Post.